everybody, uh, Johnny here. It's been a while. Um, a lot of you have reached out, asked me how I've uh, been. Uh, I've had some ups and downs, but I'm hanging in there. Um, health's been stable lately, but it's been a long uh, ride the last couple years, months. Um, I'll get into that in other videos, but I wanted to make a video today about reasons to be positive. Um, and especially for a lot of young people now, new people, I mean, um, it's a very daunting journey uh, ahead of you and you can just feel like it, nothing's happening, doctors aren't helping, everything kind of stays the same uh, no matter what you do. But there's things to be excited about. When I first got ME-CFS, I went on Google. Now imagine this, some of you young people watching this. I went on Google and I started searching... Uh, ME, CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome, all, all these different keywords. Nothing showed up. Uh, nothing was on there. Um, that was very discouraging. There was literally no articles on there. Um, a couple years after that, you started seeing a couple articles popping up, but really nothing substantial to kind of explain what's going on or even to know that other people have similar issues um, that you can relate to. Uh, there wasn't a community. This was before Facebook. Um, Facebook groups. So I wanted to say a few things to to let everybody know to keep in mind. <clears throat> there are a lot of people now working to cure ME CFS. Um, I'm going to give you five things that are going on right now. People are fighting for you right now, even though you haven't may have have not heard about it. Okay, and things that are making a difference. Okay. Um, one of the scientists from the Human Genome Project, uh, named Ron Davis, his son has ME and CFS, and he's basically dedicated his life now to find a cure. And he's uh, gotten other scientists that he worked with on the Human Genome Project, other really, really smart people, um, to help him. He's recruited people to do that, and they're doing great things. They're they're getting grants and. Um, these are some of the sharpest minds in the world now working on ME and CFS to find a cure, to find treatment. That's something to keep your head up about, something to make you feel better. Keep that in mind when you feel hopeless and that you may always be like this forever. I'm very hopeful and I feel very positive that something is coming soon uh, to help us. Uh, another thing is ME Action uh, and hashtag millions missing. ME Action is a great website to go check out. Uh, it's from Jen Brea, uh, or Jen Brea is one of the founders, I believe, and she's the one that did that documentary, Unrest. Um, they are, a, they, they got a great team over there. I, I've gotten a chance to get to know some people over there, uh, talk to them on the phone, online, and things like that. They're working really hard. Uh, some people have ME that are volunteers are working, some people have family members, some don't have them at all, and they just feel passionate about the ME community, and um, they're, they're fighting really hard. They're talking to politicians. They're researching um, ways to stop people from uh, committing suicide and, and, and how to deal with the mental health issue that comes with ME because you become so sick and, and a lot of people become depressed and then all of a sudden all these uh, neurological issues start to happen just because you've been cooped up in a room and missing out on life and all these things. And they know this. They're they're out there. They're they're working hard. They're fighting against lawmakers. They're reaching out to congressmen. They're they're doing all kinds of things. So there's a large group of people that are working every single day to fight for people with ME and CFS, just like you or a loved one that you may have. Um, back to Ron Davis. Uh, he has created a biomarker, uh, basically a, a blood test that you can take to show you have ME CFS. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take for that to hit the market and be out there, but I know he's discovered uh, a, a biomarker and that's very important. Uh, imagine the day where you just, imagine for everyone that's got ME out there, what you had to go through to figure out you have ME. Now imagine the next generation of people coming up and they're not feeling well, they don't know what's going on. They can go to the doctor, take a blood test and they go, oh, you have ME and that's it. Can you imagine that? Not going to all these specialists, all these things you got to go through. I mean, that's half the battle. Um, so he's, he's doing great things. I'm going to try to put links to all these in the description 
so that you guys can um, check them out and research more thoroughly. I, I don't want to have the video be too long and go into too much detail. Um, another thing uh, which a lot of you may already know of is uh, Unrest. Jen Brea's uh, uh, documentary got a lot of attention. It, it showed how horrible the disease can be. It, it showed uh, the impact it has on loved ones. Um, that's also spread awareness. That also led into uh, Emmy Action and, and, and Millions Missing, if I believe. But um, it's kind of umbrellaed into you know a, a big movement. So that, that, that's another uh, uh, call to action, so to speak, or forcing people to uh, act because it really just shows it in your face how how Emmy can be and how how, how brutal it is. Um, there's also studies that find differences in uh, the immune cells of people with ME and CFS and healthy people. So they are narrowing down that this is an immune issue. Um, there's always been lots of theories that it can be many, many different things, as, as many of you may know, but they're narrowing it down. So there's a lot of things happening. They're narrowing down what causes this. They're narrowing down how to test for it. They're working hard for a cure. They're spreading awareness. They're talking to lawmakers, trying to get more funding. There's just there's a there's a big wave um, of 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 people fighting for you now, and that was not the case even ten years ago, maybe even five years ago. Um, so hang in there. Remember that there's people fighting for you. Maybe your family isn't supporting you as much. Maybe your spouse. There's people out there fighting for you. They may not know you, but they are fighting for you. Keep that in mind. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Um, hopefully I can do more videos here soon. Uh, like I said, I've had a rough uh, time with my health and I'd like to do more videos and I'll do as many as I can. But I wanted to kind of send this positive message out there. Tell everyone I'm alright. Some people have reached out. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me because um, I know I've been MIA for a while. But hang in there. Hang in there. And uh, I hope the next time I do another video, um, I even have more positive news to share. I'll try, uh, I'll try to keep doing, um, if more breakthroughs come out, about studies and research and funding and all these things, I'm gonna keep letting you guys know, so you have you don't have to waste uh, not waste but spend so much time researching what's out there. I'll do the research, put it out for you. Um, take care, and until next time.